Someone filed a report against Jungkook for wearing clothes? I know, I'm shocked too. But before we get into the real hot stuff, let's talk about the comebacks and other news first. I can't wait to share with you what's been happening these past few days. I'm sick of idols not telling us their projects because how else am I gonna get prepared for what's about to drop? <laughs> Just kidding, I love them anyway. From Twice announcing the release of their third full-length album in November and another tour, Sumni is also dropping something and uh, I have literally no idea what it is. All she posted on Instagram was a picture where she revealed the title of her next project, which is Good Girl Gone Mad. But is it a single, album, online concert, a full-length feature film that is a continuation of You Can't Sit With Us cinematic universe? The possibilities are endless. On oh, jokes aside, she previously shared in a taste interview that she would be preparing for an online concert, so that's probably what this is all about. She also recently revealed on VLive that she filmed an MV for a self-produced song that won't be promoted, so we have even more content to look forward to. Dare I say win-win freedom or is it too soon? Earlier, it was revealed on an online community that Win-Win established his personal studio in China. The studio was established back in July and Win-Win was named as the executive operator. All of this was confirmed when SM Entertainment themselves revealed that Win-Win opened his own studio and the company explained he established a studio that is limited to his acting activities in China. So Win-Win getting an Oscar next year doesn't seem that far off. The agency also revealed that Win-Win will continue his activities with the group Wavy, so he could try for a Grammy too. The possibilities are endless. SM needs to stop setting my girls as Bob just because I can't afford to be creative. Back when they debuted, Espo were hit with plagiarism accusations when a visual artist from Germany noticed the similarities between his work and Espo's teaser for Black Mamba. The artist, Timo Hilbert, claimed that it seemed like SM Entertainment copied his work, claiming that they didn't ask him and he didn't work on it. If that wasn't enough, there were also similarities between the MV and the virtual League of Legends girl group KDA's Pop Stars music video. The AI concept the whole group was built around was said to be copied from KDA's as well. Not one comeback seems to have happened without controversy because SM is making headlines for alleged plagiarism once again. The now famous picture of the ESPA members wearing headpieces have been accused of plagiarizing British designer James Mary. James Mary is a co-creative designer for Icelandic musician Jork and has been credited as the mastermind behind some of her amazing headpieces. Oh, and the gorgeous picture of Karina lying mid-air with a skeletal serpent-like being wrapped around her body looks suspiciously a lot like Japanese illustrators Hajime Sorayama's work. Now with this one, I don't know where we can actually draw the line between inspiration and plagiarism. It does look very similar, but the pose and concept are something we've seen time and time again. But hey, who knows after all? Let's just hope SM addresses this as soon as possible. The worst thing about this is that ESPA members have no creative freedom or any chance to say something when it comes to their music because they're still a new group. But netizens attack them instead of addressing SM Entertainment first. Anyway... Remember when I told you about Orbit's incredible plan to somehow talk a multi-billionaire into saving Luna just because he tweeted about them once? Yeah, no, it still hasn't happened, but that's not where I was getting at. Though Elon Musk has yet to respond to Orbit's request, RuPaul's Drag Race contestant, Kimchi, has offered to help. Very random, I know, but we'll take all the help we can get. For some context, Kimchi is the stage name of Shin sang Yong, a Korean-American makeup artist, drag queen, and entrepreneur. She was a runner-up on season 8 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Kimchi also has her own makeup line called Kim Chi Sheik. Apart from these very impressive achievements, this queen has also been a long time orbit and she's been following Luna since pre-debut days. Her first tweet about the band was way back in May of 2018 where she had issued a gentle reminder to stand Luna. She even joked about Luna disbanding during April Fool's Day. Honey, she had a storm coming. Like the orbit she is, as soon as Blockberry's creative financial crisis came to light, Kim Chi was the first to stand in line to help out. On September 30, she tweeted out to Luna asking them to check their emails as she was interested in helping them. Though I have no idea if she was kidding or not, I'm gonna need Blackberry Creative to check their emails ASAP. We're in a crisis. Mina is back on Instagram. Again. Yeah, yeah, everyone act shocked. Previously, on September 9th, Mina said that she would be closing her account and not be active on social media for quite some time. However, in less than two weeks, she has returned to absolutely no one's surprise. On September 29th, Kwon Mina reopened her Instagram and posted a selfie of herself. She initially wrote in the caption, I'll just say it, the truth will be revealed someday, so I won't mention it anymore. I could hope that she will stay true to her word this time, but I doubt it. She then edited the caption and added, if the truth is not revealed in the future, even after a year or two, I have to reveal it even if I'm tired of it or even if I'm having a hard time. I'll make sure to reveal why I've been so evil and said bad things for 10 years. I'm going to refrain from hating anyone now, try to fix it, and realize that I'm the only one who suffers. Fans and netizens are saying she hasn't done any self-reflecting and she needs to take responsibility for ruining Jimin's reputation and mental health. But I'm praying to every deity out there that this is the last time we hear of the drama and everything goes 
back to normal. To say I'm tired of it would be an understatement. However, I believe that justice must be served because if what Mina said was all lies, then she should face consequences. When you look at Blackpink's Jenny, the last thing you would probably call her is ugly, right? Well, her so-called fans in Paris seem to think otherwise because they're apparently blind and most importantly, lacking boundaries and respect. Jisoo dealt with a mobbing situation of her own when she arrived in Paris for the fashion week. Jenny was followed to her hotel on top of being mobbed as soon as she landed in France. Just as she escaped the crowd of people who came dangerously close to her, she had a whole other problem in the form of creepy stalkers waiting in front of the hotel where she was supposed to be staying. And when she, like a normal person didn't stop to take pictures with the people who went out of their way to invade her privacy, you could hear someone shout Timosh, which means you are ugly, to the Jenny Kim. Where do these people find the audacity? Despite all the disrespect, Jenny still bowed to her fans and even uploaded on her SNS later. She's really something guys. Okay, I never thought I'd say this, but Jungkook is in hot waters lately due to netizens not having anything better to do with their lives. He was recently accused of under the table advertising or tweets kung in Korean, which is when a celebrity doesn't explicitly state that the product they are endorsing is a paid advertisement, especially when the product appears in content uploads to social media. The product in question are the clothes from his brother's company, Six Guys, where he previously held the title of internal director. Six Guys launched a brand called Graffiti on Mind in early September, and the brand was meant to embody the idea of rebellion yet also show quality art. Jungkook has been seen wearing his brother's clothing line several times, from posts on BTS's members' Twitter account to live broadcast. After netizens started accusing him of false advertising, he eventually resigned from his position in the company. While no official statement has been made on it, it was speculated that Jungkook didn't want to be burdened by the netizens' accusations and hence took this measure. However, the accusations have not died down. Netizens decided to take it a few steps further as they filed an official report to the Fair Trade Commission against Jungkook. The netizen claimed that Jungkook had a stake in the stocks for the company's six guys, yet he had worn the shirt on broadcast without explicitly stating so. This could result in a manipulation of the profits given his influence on consumers. The netizen in question said, BTS is a top boy group that represents South Korea and has an astronomical status. Even if Jungkook did not personally share a review of the product or ask fans to buy it after uploading the photo to social media, just by giving the brand exposure often, he could cause a raise in the profits beyond imagination. As such, this is an incident that could detriment a fair and free market, and this is something that the Fair Trade Commission also strictly prohibits. It may be just me, but how can Jungkook be blamed for what his fans buy? Like, if they're making this much fuss over a shirt, imagine what they'll do if they found out Armies once sold out the brand of a toothbrush he was using. Will they file a report on him for brushing his teeth too? As expected from fans, Armies have decided to step up to protect Jungkook's reputation from this report. Not even a full day following the announcement on the report, BTS fans have gathered together to ask Hybe labels to protect Jungkook from this backlash by trending the hashtag StandForJK. The tweets are asking for better treatment for Jungkook and for Big Hit to take action against the malicious comments and the report itself. They have yet to directly address the situation, but they did update us on the fact that they're, in their own words, initiating strict measures to ensure that perpetrators who engage in these malicious acts are prosecuted to the full extent of the law. They can be scary when they want to. Let's just hope this situation gets solved as soon as possible. What do you guys think about the Jungkook situation? Was it really backdoor advertising or just a man caught up in a controversy after wearing the clothes he likes? Tell me your thoughts in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Bye!